coming by. Hi everyone. Happy almost 4th of July. Um, Alright, it's 7 o'clock, so we'll give it half a minute. Um, I just want to show you something. Let me just do that. Okay, so tonight's piece, and again, I'm having a hard time getting on my other device, so I haven't been able to watch it live yet. So I will as soon as I can, and then I'll answer comments. All right, so I'm going to flip you. We're going to start, and I'm going to go through some things. Uh, Emily, I will answer you after this class. Okay. Getting on. Oh. I'm going to go through some things. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Emily, I will answer you there. Okay, sound off. All right, I'm going to flip you. You should be able to see my piece. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Way backwards. Way backwards on mine. Way backwards there. Hmm. If somebody's watching, tell me if I'm backwards. Because I'm backwards on my screen. So, here, I did these on four watercolor boards. Uh, three watercolor boards. I did U and an S and an A. And what you can do is you can mount them on a white canvas and just mount them. Or you can, Michael sells a frame that has three openings. So you can put them in a frame and put them just like that. Okay? All right. Let me flip this. I'm really sorry if I seem like I'm not very computer savvy, but I'm not. Okay. Now I'm not seeing comments. So I can't answer you. Alright. So, we're going to start. Those are my three, and I'll show you as I'm going. I'm still upside down. Am I upside down? Let me see something. They are backwards. Okay. I can't see the comments on my other device, so let me do this. Flip this way. Let's see if that works. Can y'all see me? Oh, gonna drive me? I'm gonna drive people crazy, aren't I? Is that better? Yes? You want to delay so I can't see. No, oh, I think we got it. Perfect. Okay, y'all ready? Let's start. I'm sorry, I can't do a test run on these simply because I can't go live and just do a test run just because. So, I'm sorry about that. If I can get the comments to come up, I'll answer. If not, I will do it right after class. All right, so if you see, if I hold this really close, no, I can't see, but there's little stars. Now, when I did this piece, I kind of thought that they were too light, so I did a demo board, which I'll do with you, but they're darker. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our board and no matter what you're painting on, it's fine. Now, I have this stencil, which I can kind of just do this way. On the original piece, I used this stencil. So what I did is I kind of stenciled and moved it around like that. Okay? So no matter how you're doing it, it's perfectly fine. I today was looking for a stencil and found this. So I'm going to lay my stencil. I'm going to pick up, I'm going to put a little bit of Wedgwood blue on my palette. Let me just move over just a little bit and see if that works. Which is what's your base coat. So Wedgwood blue 
and Payne's Gray. Let's see comments. Hmm. Okay. Sorry, I can't read comments. Last time they came up. Oh, they're not coming up. So on my palette, I put Payne's Gray and Wedgwood Blue. I didn't put a lot. I just have a little bit of each. I have a stencil brush. And I'm going to pick up both on my brush. So I have both on my brush. And I'm going to wipe off on my paper. Now I wipe off enough so that it's not super dry. But I don't want a lot of paint. Because if you have a lot of paint, what happens is it goes under your stencil. And then you see blobs. And you don't want blobs. Okay, so I'm going to lay my stencil. And I'm going to go counterclockwise and clockwise. And counterclockwise and clockwise. And I'm just going to go back and forth. And you can kind of do this to see if you like it. I see more of the U. Let me move over just a little bit. So now you can see I took mine off by accident. So what you do is you just look where it is and you line it right back up. Okay? I'm just going to pick up a little more paint. Wipe. Now, a lot of people like to tape their stencils in place, and that's fine too. I don't, probably because I'm lazy, but I'm clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise. And you see what I have? Okay, so I did one. I'll do all three because I know some are painting along with me. So time-wise, I want to make sure everybody has time to do what I'm doing. And just while I can talk, because I can't read comments, so while I'm talking, if you're not painting along with me, at the end, this will be in the archives on the library's Facebook page. So just go into the live section and scroll down, and you can watch it over and over, and you can pause it. So you can paint and pause and paint and pause. If you're painting at home and you get stuck on something or you have a question or anything of the like, just pop off a message. Either pop me off a message on Facebook or leave a comment. I usually see them. And I will go back and I promise you I will answer all of them. So I'm happy to help you get there. And you don't have to do it on the same boards I did. I just happen to have boards. Okay, so I'm here and I'm here. And while I'm doing this, a great way to wash your stencils. I went to the dollar store and I bought an old cookie sheet. And I just like stick it on the back of the cookie sheet so that it's on a nice solid background that it kind of sticks to and a magic eraser and I just take a magic eraser and I just clean it you can clean old dry paint you can clean new paint um, they're really very simple to dry uh, to clean if you don't have a magic eraser just take paper just put something underneath I'm just using a baby wipe and just come in and just clean it off. Now you don't have to do it right away. I mean, I know people do. I am not that good. And it just wipes right off. Okay. Just put something underneath it. It could be anything. It's just because you see, while you're cleaning it, you'll get this mess here. Okay, so now it's nice and clean. 
I'll just throw that away. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. This doesn't want to give me comments anywhere. I'm sorry. All right, so I'm going to grab some graphite. I'm going to use white. You're going to take your pattern. I'm going to transfer your pattern. Now, graphite paper, there's one side that's dull and one side that's shiny. So it's always the shiny part down. Now, what I watch a lot of people do, and I'll just tell you because if and when you do it, because everybody does, I don't want you to think that you're doing something wrong. It's a very, very common thing. So people take their paper and then they go like this and it's really hard to line up because then you don't know if you're in the right spot. So what I do when I transfer is I put, let me see if I can close it in my, let's see. I put my pattern, I hold it in the corner, I up and I just slide it right under. Okay? So then I'm just going to follow my lines. Okay. When you're transferring anything, but when you're transferring your butterflies, only put in the details that you need. So in this case, I need here, on the pattern that I put in the comments, on the original post, I put all the stripes for the butterfly and so on and so forth. You don't need that now because you're going to paint right over it. Okay, so I'm here. Now, my fingers are still here. I have not taken them off of it. I slide it out. I'm going to lift it like that. And you can see my whole design is there. Okay. So I did my U. I did my S. Same thing, I'm holding it in the corner and I'm just sliding my graphite shiny side down. So whether you use dark graphite or light graphite, it's a shiny side down. Now, funny thing, because people do it all the time. They have white graphite and they're painting on a very light surface, white, light buttermilk, and they use white graphite not realizing you're not going to see it. Same thing as if you're on a black surface, you're not going to see black graphite. So just keep in mind when you're using graphite, just use an appropriate color, a color that's pretty opposite what you're using so that you'll be able to see it. Okay, in here. Now I kind of avoided this. Because this line here, you can't see, can you? This line here will be done with a liner, so we don't need that. So again, I'm looking myself right out of the camera, aren't I? I'm going to get it, I promise you. U, S, and an A. Let's see if that's the perfect spot. And we'll put this on move these, and then we'll see. Oh, I think I got it. The reason, just an FYI, why I am off camera because the device that I'm using is a few second delay. So I can't see until after the fact. So please just be patient with me. Sooner or later I'll get it. Okay, so we're here. And we're here. 
So while I'm doing this, all of these pieces are now have, this is what we call transferring our pattern. Oh, see now, if you see that, you can see I missed this spot here. So you see where it's here? It's not here. But I haven't moved my pattern. But just say I moved my pattern and I took it off and I went like this. So now I'm going to take my pattern and I'm going to line it right back up because I can see it through. Okay, then I'm going to here and then I'm going to go in and put it on. But you'll avoid lining it up is if you just check it as you're going. 